Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, this video was supposed to be about the ESP8266, but then I had some problems with my node server and, and instead this video happened. So let's get started. So I wanted to talk about where one can start with Arduino and what Arduino actually is because my initial impressions of what Arduino was were totally wrong. So today I want to talk about what Arduino is and how it became popular and where one can get started. So what is an Arduino? Before answering that question, I would want to tell you guys what a microcontroller is. So a microcontroller is a very tiny computer on an integrated circuit and you can program it to do whatever you want. Generally speaking, uh, programming a microcontroller can get very very tricky and very intimidating for a beginner. Even the programming part of it will require you to know something about the architecture of the microcontroller you are programming for. And with so many different brands and so many different microcontrollers out there, there is a different method to program each and every different microcontroller. So this is a lot of stuff for a beginner. And hence, it's quite complicated. What Arduino did is simplify the whole process of the programming and using microcontrollers. They simplified the hardware, they simplified the software and they made it a whole lot easier for one to program a microcontroller. Talking about the hardware side, the most popular Arduino, I think you guys would know the Arduino Uno. It is the most popular Arduino out there and it is what everyone starts on. The Arduino Uno is based on an Atmega 328. It's an 8-bit microcontroller from Atmel. Over these years, many different boards have come uh, better, uh, better microcontrollers and more powerful ones which will allow you to do more complex things. So over these years, the ecosystem has grown and a lot of people have also started using it. All of these designs are open source and you can find them on the Arduino website. You can download the designs, make your own Arduino at home if you please. Coming to the software side, this is where things got simplified a lot. The Arduino IDE is the reason for the success of Arduino. The Arduino IDE is very easy to use and it is also open source. It's a total package from writing code to uploading it, it just happens in a single click. Uh, with Arduino's libraries and syntax, one need not know the specific architecture of a microcontroller. They need not go through hundreds of pages of data sheets of the microcontroller to know and program it. Now they can just use Arduino's simplified libraries to get similar functionality on multiple different microcontrollers and the Arduino libraries handle it. And it has, over the years, the Arduino ID has gotten so popular that third party boards have been added to the compatible compatibility list and uh, different companies are using Arduino ID to program their own boards. Anyone can do it, even people who are not from electronics background can get started with Arduino in just a flash. And it, the Arduino ID might be yeah. just the best thing in its class right now. Or maybe not. So yeah, in short, Arduino, uh, Arduino is an ecosystem built around the microcontroller, an ecosystem uh, of hardware and software which work together in a very harmonious way and that makes it a whole lot easier for the end user. When I say it's easy, it's really easy. Let's see at the Hello World program for microcontrollers. This is the Blinky example. Here you just blink an, uh, blink an LED at different frequency or you just get an LED to blink. And here's how you do it in the Arduino IDE. You have a digital write function which makes the pin high, then you give some delay, then you have another digital write function which makes the pin low and then you, you give another delay and that's done. That's the blinky example. And this is how you do it when you uh, use the AVR uh, embedded C kind of coding. You need to know set the direction of the re output port registers, then you, s you need to set the port to a different value, then you need to manually change the port values. This thing can be a little intimidating for a beginner and that's why Arduino is so much easier. Because the whole Arduino thing is open source, uh, there are so many Chinese manufacturers which sell, who sell the clones for very cheap compared to the original ones. 
So I usually buy my stuff, uh, my, so I usually buy my electronics from AliExpress. You can also buy from Amazon or even the local stores. Coming to what all you should buy to start off with Arduino. Here, if you really want to get into electronics and know how things work at the core level, I would suggest you to start off with digital ICs, play with timers, uh, the, uh, the op amps and different uh, counters and stuff like that. Then go start with the microcontroller. And when you start with the microcontroller, you can begin with the blinky example, then go to analog function, then start learning about what is PWM, and then you can you can build on depending on how, uh, depending on what you want to make and what ideas you get. So you can start off with sim very simple things like potentiometers, LEDs, resistors, and learn the basic electronics theory around it. That's how you can get started in into the electronics uh, field. Just start experimenting, break things. Uh, repair them and then just have fun You can also get the Arduino starter kit which also the Chinese manufacturers make different bundles It contains most of the things which you would need to learn the basics of the microcontroller field coming to the code part Arduino is really very popular. There have been 16 million downloads of the Arduino ID as of now and There is so much of Arduino code out there Just Google Google it you can get a lot of help. There are so many forums where you can get your questions answered. You can ask me, you can hit me on Instagram and I can answer your questions. So there's a lot of help out there. There's a lot of code out there. You can easily get started. You just need your ideas. Ideas are the only things which are limiting you to do what you want. So come. Anyways guys, uh, that's about it. This was the first unscripted kind of video that I made. Uh, this is actually the second take. The first one was quite horrible. So I hope this was informative and you guys learned something. Uh, like it if you like it. Give a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe uh, if you want to see more content. Uh, the ESP video will surely come in the coming days. And also I uh, have a lot of cool projects uh, coming up. So subscribe and stay tuned.